Welcome back to my channel. If you guys notice, I already fill in my brows using my Peach Studio Pro Ultimate Brow Palette. And I actually moisturized my face already using my Beauty 360 Moisturized Facial Oil. So we're going to use this scotch tape to create a nice angle line for my eyeshadow. So I'm just going to apply it on the corner on my eyes to create a perfect angle and i'm going to use this urban decay eyeshadow primer just going to prime on top of my eyes and just kind of spread it all over my eyelid and then i'm going to go ahead and use this milani conceal and perfect it's the two-in-one foundation and concealer and i like to use it um before i apply my eyeshadow just so i can have that smooth and pop-up look and I'm just gonna go ahead and set it with my translucent powder by Laura Mercier I love this powder to set my concealer in before I apply my eyeshadow I'm gonna use my Tarte is pro palette by Tarte this is the Amazonian clay palette it is so beautiful guys I'm going to start off by using the shade um, Drama on the outer feet corner of my crease area and just kind of work it inwards smoothly. Yep. And then let's go ahead and get the mod shade and put it on top of it and just work it in through your outer feet corner and inwards. And always remember to blend your eyeshadow girl. So I'm going to get this smoked shade and apply it on the outer feet corner and, you know, just work it in where it's, you know what I mean. So I love this product. This is the um, NYX um, Concealer and this is in shade CJ10. It's almost like a yellow shade. I'm going to apply that on my lid so that my second coat halo effect eyeshadow can pop out and yeah just apply the concealer and make sure you um apply translucent or any powder just to set that um concealer in as well and i'm just going to go back with that mod shade and apply it on the outer corner again just to bring that nice definition on my eyes and then we're going to go and use the shade minx to create a halo effect just apply it in the middle of your eyelid and i'm using vintage in my inner corner as well and i'm going to use the sex kitten eyeliner by tarte to create my um wing liner yes girl you gotta wing wing out that liner so you can fly so yeah, I'm just going to apply that on here really quick on both eyes. And after my eyeliner, I'm going to apply the vintage shade on my brow bone area and blend that out. I'm going to remove the tape so I can apply my eyelashes. These are the eyelashes by Red Cherry. Um, these lashes are amazing. 
I freaking love them. Um, they're like dramatic, but not too dramatic. Sorry, my battery died out. So I'm switching to my iPhone. So please excuse my lighting, girls. I'm gonna go back to my um, eyeliner by Tarte and use that to line out my water line, my upper water lines. If you hear a baby talking, that's the cadence in my background. I'm gonna use the shade Drama under my water line to use it as my line eyeliner effect for my bottom. Uh, make sure you blend that really good. It's always nice to blend so it doesn't look like you just apply a freaking marker. And I'm gonna use my mascara by Tarte and just gonna blend in, blend in my real lashes with my falsies. Mm-hmm. Yep, just blend that in, girl. I don't know if you guys can hear Cadis. He's like talking in the background. Okay, so after applying your mascara, we're going to go ahead and prime our face. I'm using this primer from Dr. Brent. I love this primer, guys. Like, it's freaking amazing. Especially when you have oily skin. It totally works. So we're just going to smooth that in and spread it all over. I'm using two foundations. I'm using the Milani and the Fenty foundations. And I'm just going to mix those together and then apply it on my face. I mix them because my skin just got a little lighter. So I'm trying to, you know, kind of get that nice caramel color on my face <laughs> so I'm going to use this um, Age Rewind by Maybelline this is my all time favorite under eye concealer so yeah I'm just going to conceal um, my face with this and use my blending sponge to blend my concealer and just apply translucent powder um, just to set your concealer in and I'm going to contour my face using Anastasia's contour kit and we're gonna go with the shade this is like the medium brown shade I believe and I'm just gonna apply that on my face on my forehead under my cheekbone area and my forehead and then apply the translucent powder again under my cheekbone area and just blend everything in you know what I mean sorry I'm just way too fast in me talking <laughs> okay so what's next I guess the same palette we're gonna go ahead and contour our nose yeah I need to contour my fat nose so <laughs> I need that skinny skinny nose looking effect so I'm just gonna blend that in and then apply a little of the powder in or on my nose or in the middle area and just blend that as well Ooh, I'm almost done time to blush I'm using Beauty Creations exposed plush set and I'm using the coral color on my face and just blend that as well too. Gosh, I'm almost done. I'm excited. And then just applying mascara on my lower lashes. I always tend to forget this part, girls, but oh well. I'm glad I remember. <laughs> so I'm going to use the Browns and Brighter by Purr. Um, this is their highlight. I'm going to apply the middle one, the middle highlight on my face, on my cheekbones, my nose, my forehead, just everywhere where I want the highlight to pop out. Okay, lipstick time. I'm going to apply the Estee Lauder lipstick. This is in the shade um, 340. It's the pure color Envy. I think I'm done. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Please.
right. 